Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Justin Davis and we're sitting at my desk today and I have something new from the guys over at Hollybro. They asked me if I would like to demo their Huckia RX5808 Pro Diversity Receiver for my Fat Shark goggles. And I said, absolutely, I would love to see these. Uh, these are nice because they do come with a 1.3 inch screen and it has a little push button navigation joystick. You can go up and down in the menus. You can also do auto scan on here, search mode, save everything. You can save channels for your favorites, uh, just like LaForge have on those. Uh, and LaForge has a lot of the same features as this does. Uh, this also includes race band uh, and setup menu in here. You also have RSSI information in there. If you want to do RSSI uh, calibration, you can do that. You can also do, obviously, manual mode is included with these. But the cool thing about these is that they're around the $60 to $65 price range, which is way cheaper than LaForge. Uh, also, TrueD is going to be more expensive than these as well. So it comes with two parts that go right into your Fat Shark goggles. This first part is the OLED display and your little navigation button right here. I'll just bring it a little closer for you so you can see that. But so far, looking like pretty nice quality. You have your antenna receiver port right there, little heat sink on the back, the pens. And over on this side is where your cable's gonna plug in that's gonna run across this part right here to the diversity receiver on the other side so this looks pretty slick it's probably going to fit on my goggles a little better than these 3d printed parts that i had to get uh, third party 3d printed parts for my laforge setup right here so i've got well over a hundred dollars into this laforge setup uh, I, I really like diversity because it cleans up the image signal coming back from the quad a lot uh, and takes out a lot of noise so I'm interested to demo these for you guys. Uh, also, if you're looking for these 3D printed parts, I'll try to put a link down below so you can get this little faceplate uh, cable part right here. This will make that cable nice and snug as it goes across the front of my fat sharks. I'm not gonna open these up and uh, try to recess this cable, but you can if you want to. So I've got everything laid out here and I have my cables plugged in. This one just simply plugs into this port right here and runs over to your diversity receiver right here. Uh, this is where you're gonna put your patch antenna on this side, get a right hand turn there, and you'll want to have that uh, RP SMA connector there with the male piece sticking out so you can screw that in. Uh, also, you want your 5.8 cloverleaf on the other side so that you have a nice clear video signal and the patch antenna will pick up what the cloverleaf is missing and clean up the video a lot. Uh, and that's why these diversity module setups are so popular. Uh, just gonna give you a little better penetration also when you go behind things so you don't get too much static in your video. Uh, when I did move over to a diversity setup like this, it just dramatically improved my, my overall experience uh, for FPV. So um, it just, it's just a lot better. It's like night and day. Um, now, one big difference I see right away is the Forge screen is a lot smaller. The Hollybro Huckia is quite a bit taller and wider. So you're going to be able to navigate these menus a little easier. I feel like the LaForge is a little bit small, uh, but at the time when these came out, I didn't have any type of display. So I was happy to have this display, but you know, it's middle of 2017 now and uh, upgrades are coming. So this is pretty nice that these have a larger screen. Now these will install on the HD version two Dominators by Fat Shark. Uh, they'll also install on the HD threes, the newest version that came out, um, and they should install on some of the previous versions. So you might have to check uh, with Fat Shark or uh, maybe check out some other videos on YouTube. But this might be one of the first and early videos on the Huckia. Um, but let's go ahead and show you how easy they are to install. Just going to move that stuff out of the way. Now the first part I'm going to put in is the main port over here and this just plugs in these little pins have to plug in on this side now they don't fit totally perfect on the HD2s um, you can see this little side is sticking out over here and that's that's gonna be okay but you need to make sure that all these pins make contact and plug in and 
this won't really snap into place. So what you'll need to do is take some sort of uh, VHB or something like that on the back side of this. Just a little tiny piece to hold this in place. And once you do that, it's not going to move. It's going to fit in there nice and snug. Now run this across the front here. I have a little piece of VHB in the middle here that I'm just going to put the wires on top of. And then on this side, you don't have to plug anything in, but you do have to have these little clips snap into place. So that's going to be the trick on this pair of goggles. So I'm just going to put that behind there. And it seems like the, the bottom port of the Dominator HD2s is a little bit in the way to get the module in there. So what I might have to do is actually loosen this nut up a little bit and slide this board in first behind this port right here. Now once I get this side snapped down and the board is flush behind that port right there, um, that's, that's going to be the trick of getting them into the HD2s and then you're going to snap this side down and it kind of snaps into place kind of nicely on here so it's nice and flush on the side of the goggles. Uh, it's not sticking out as much as that 3D printed LaForge module that I had on here so it looks a little nicer on my goggles in my opinion and if these run like the True Ds and the same type of software and they look a little better than the LaForge I'll be pretty excited about that. So let's go ahead and power up the Fat Sharks and I'll show you the menus. Okay, so I got this module installed and the other one on the other side, the diversity receiver. So what we want to do first before we power one is make sure that you put your antennas on there. Very important because they could maybe possibly burn them up. You don't want to uh, plug this in without doing that. So here's the startup screen. Looks very similar to True D again. It also has that call name. You can change that from Hollybro to whatever your pilot name is inside the uh, setup menu. Now this little this little joystick over here on the right, mine doesn't seem to go down. It does go up, but it doesn't want to go down. Uh, maybe I'm just pushing it wrong, but uh, just to let you guys know, mine doesn't want to seem to go down. So you have auto seek on here, which is super cool. This first menu right here shows you your A and B antennas are both hooked up and you have your call sign here and it has auto already on that channel 5695 on band C channel two right there. So a nice big display. I like the fact that it is a nice large display. Now, if you press the button one time, it'll take you to the internal menus here and you have auto search up at the top. You have band scanner. And if you don't press anything, it automatically goes out. So we're going to press down. There's the setup menu. You have your diversity set up. You can go in there and turn off or on diversity if you'd like to, or you can leave it on auto. I'm just going to leave it on auto. So I'm going to go back up. We can go to manual mode. You can manually scan through all of your different bands and channels if you just push up and it'll just race through all of the bands one channel at a time, one through eight on each band. So that's, that's pretty cool. So I can go back to the menu as well again and we can do band scanner. So it's going to look for the best available band and that's kind of cool. It's going to search through the entire band range looking for my what my quad is showing right now I have the baby uh, baby hawk sitting over here to my right plugged in so I can also do that auto seek press that auto search one again and pretty quickly it found the image right from the quad so pretty fast on the search function. And that's that's important if you're out and flying. By yourself is kind of nice if you don't have anyone else around and that's plugged in at the same time. You can use the auto search and it usually finds your quad pretty quickly. Uh, I do like that feature a lot. Now, one thing that doesn't work on the Fat Sharks with this particular Hollybro module is the channel buttons up here on the Fat Sharks. What I liked about LaForge is that I can still scan through my channels or do it manually from the goggles on the LaForge ones, but with the Hollybro and the True D, you can't do that. Uh, that's the only drawback that I can think of uh, for this particular module, but hey, for $65 or $70 for a diversity setup, I'm not complaining about that um, because I can just use this little joystick right here to do anything I want.
Now we go into the setup menu, you have order channel, you can change that to frequency here. Uh, you also can turn your beeper on and off here if you would like to not hear the beeper. But the beeper is kind of nice because when your goggles get low, it's going to beep for you and let you know that the voltage on your battery power in your goggles is low. Uh, so we'll go back in there and we can also change the sign there. I can just press on that once and I can run through A through Z here and go all the way across if I'd like to uh, add my pilot name. But I think I'm going to leave Hollybro on there for now. And we can also, which is really nice, we can calibrate the RSSI as well. And that's going to be nice uh, for the best possible signal. Now we can save and exit and go back to the main menu here and it'll just flip back. So if you're on any of the modes inside the setup screen, the mode selection, uh, or you're in manual mode, in, in any of these screens, if you don't touch anything for a couple seconds, it goes back to the main screen. And that's kind of cool um, because you don't want to accidentally press something while you're flying and uh, mess something up mid-flight. But it's really nice to see that someone else out there is making a competitive diversity module setup for Fat Sharks because the, the ones that have been out, they've been the neck and neck competitors for quite a while now. There's a lot of people that religiously love True D and there's a lot of people that religiously love LaForge. Um, I particularly like LaForge, uh, but I'm going to give some of these other systems a chance. If Furious FPV was send me a set of the uh, True Ds, I would definitely check those out uh, and, and showcase those for you guys. But for now, I'm going to be using this uh, Huckia 5808 setup here uh, on my goggles, and I'm going to test them a bit further. If I find out um, that they're not so great in the field, I would definitely let you guys know in the weeks to come because I will have these uh, on my Fat Sharks and, and at the field while I'm doing some demos for you guys. So, so far, I think they look pretty darn good. Um, and they're actually pretty easy to navigate through the menus. And uh, that's a nice, nice price for diversity setup, in my opinion. But um, maybe not quite as uh, high quality as the, the uh, LaForge, but. Uh, there's a lot I like about this better than LaForge, um, and mainly is that larger screen. I like that. It's easier to navigate. This seems a little bit hard to see, especially for someone who needs glasses. Now, the second thing that I mostly like about the Hollybro version versus the LaForge is the fact that this menu button works a lot better than the menu navigation buttons here. I got excited because this one had three buttons, uh, but with this 3D printed piece, they, they're really hard to press. And it, it honestly, it pissed me off a lot because I couldn't remember which button was which on here. Sometimes when I go back to change things, I press the wrong button and exit the menu on accident. Um, so they get a thumbs up and a win for ease of navigation. Uh, and also a nice fast auto scan on these works really well. Um, and you also have auto scan on this one too. But uh, overall button setup, much easier to use the Hollybro joystick setup. Um, even though mine doesn't seem to want to go down, mine is working a lot easier and easier to navigate than this dude over here. So um, congratulations, Hollybro. You guys uh, made a nice little navigation menu. Very, very easy. So thanks for watching this little demo and uh, check these out if you want to in the link below. Um, definitely going to be a big competitor this year to the other diversity modules out there. I think that it's finally time that someone came out with a cheaper version of diversity for fat shark goggles. I'm actually pretty excited about it because uh, a lot of my friends need to switch over and start flying diversity. Um, some of them have uh, fat sharks and just haven't made the switch yet. So this is going to be nice for that $65 point and later in the year, who knows, maybe they'll come down even lower in price and end up like $50. So uh, diversity is definitely coming to everybody's goggles this year and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that so anyway guys thanks again for watching this little demo this has been the new Hollybro Huckia 5808 pretty sweet diversity module I'm Justin Davis and I'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.